This is John Cola with GrowingYourGreens.com. I have another exciting episode for you today, and today we're at the National Heirloom Expo. As you can see, the signs up there, September 11th, 12th, and 13th. And for those guys and girls that haven't made it out to the expo, what we're going to do today is a vendor roundup. So I really like to go around to the vendor booths to kind of find out the latest stuff, latest happening, and garden tools and ways to build your soil, heirloom, and uh, different edible plants. And there's been a lot here. So in this video, we're going to go around the Grace Pavilion and show you guys some of the best booths at the uh, National Heirloom Expo. We're going to walk inside the Grace Pavilion. And the Grace Pavilion is where the majority of the uh, vendor booths are. There's also a few other areas, including outside and another hall that has more vendors. But this is where the bulk and the majority of them are. So uh, let's come inside and check out my favorite vendors that can help you grow more food. One of the reasons why I like the Heirloom Expo is that there's all different kind of vendors selling seeds and also plants. And here's actually a really cool one. You never know what each uh, nursery or each plant seller is going to sell. And they're always right to have that one plant that you want. And I'm, I found one of those today. I'm really excited. This is actually uh, Carmen's Nursery. They do ship plants and they're at carmensnursery.com. And what I found today was, you know, the standard, what I thought was Cuban oregano. And this is the one that I actually showed you guys as Cuban oregano. They also have a variegated variety of this. But today I learned that it's not really Cuban oregano. It's actually called the menthol plant. So this is the fake Cuban oregano. So I'm corrected now that I've learned the truth. And here is the real Cuban oregano right here. This is the real Cuban oregano. You can see the leaf shape is totally different. It's in the same, they're related, they're related plants, but totally different. And I haven't yet uh, tasted this guy yet, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy this guy and bring it home and I'm gonna taste it and maybe it'll taste better than this guy. These guys are definitely frost tender, so they don't like freezes. They do good in South Florida, somewhere like Hawaii, or if you live somewhere else, then you gotta definitely keep them warm. So the next booth I like a lot is this company right here. It's actually called Larner Seeds. They're a local company that produces seeds to offer of native plants. And now while a lot of these are not edible, there are a few edibles. And I always want to encourage you guys to actually grow native plants to your area that are edible. And sometimes it is hard to find seeds even though they're out in nature. So it's cool when a company like this can collect all the natives and then offer them to you, especially when they're edible. So the two varieties that they have that I want and that I've been looking for actually is one right here. This is actually called a peppermint candy flower, and this is a Claytona Siberica, and this is actually related to the miner's lettuce that I grow every winter. So this is a different variety, so a different cultivar. I want to encourage you guys to grow a lot of different varieties. This has actually a candy flower, so they look really cool. They don't taste like candy, and they don't taste like peppermint, but they look really cool, and they're quite edible. The other one I'm going to pick up today right here is actually called Red Maids. And this is a ground-hugging annual wildflower, under one inch tall, with intense magenta petals, likes full sun, edible leaves, and seeds, and also the flowers. So these are two uh, edible plants that you can grow that will self-seed on their own because they're native to this area. So growing edibles that are native to your area, very important. So find a local seed company or har wild harvest some seeds so you can grow more native edibles that are going to work well in your area. If you want to learn more about Larner Seeds, you can visit their website, larnerseeds.com. So now we're outside. I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite booths outside, actually. It's called the Self-Watering Seed Pots. It's actually you know, Orta. Now, what does Orta mean? Well, Orta in Portuguese means kitchen garden. And in, in English, we have, we have to say kitchen garden, but that's the word. So I think everybody should definitely have a kitchen garden. And this pot actually makes it really easy to do just that, especially if you're in like, you know, a apartment, condo, and don't have a lot of space. This is a really cool invention. So check this out right here. Here's the little sign and check it out. It says, ignore your baby plants and they'll be okay. And this design all stemmed from actually the gardener that made this design up would lose her plants because she'd forget to water. She's so busy in her life and all kinds of stuff. So she basically researched like self-watering containers and figured out how to do it naturally out of ceramic. And she hand makes each and every one of these guys. So check it out. The coolest ones are like this guy, the six pack. So what this is, this is basically a ceramic uh, handcrafted that uh, you basically has a little reservoir here you fill with water and it's glazed so the water doesn't drip out the outside but it's not glazed on the inside so the plants absorb the water through the glaze. And the coolest thing is you could literally, this is a six pack, right? And these are little tomatoes. You could pick these guys up and now they're ready for transplanting. Now these guys can get expensive if you're trying to do this on a production scale, but if you don't have too much, this is something that's really reusable so you don't have to use the plastic stuff anymore. And this will literally last forever if you take care of it. So I like it a lot. 
in addition besides the six packs which i think are, i like the most they have a little three pack here for a small kitchen herb garden or probably more functional is actually this guy here has a nice larger area and once again the self-watering chamber so that you just fill it up and it could literally last just a week or so without having to fill the water and maybe every week just fill it up and your plant will continue to grow this is great to grow herbs in your windowsill so they get out fresh herbs especially through the winter instead of having to buy them to learn more and to purchase this product you want to visit the website orta kitchen garden that's o-r-t-a kitchen garden Dot com. Another booth I like a lot here is actually the uh, Yes on 37 uh, Right to Know. And check it out right here. Do you eat genetically engineered foods? Many of you guys right now may be eating genetically engineered foods and not even know it if you're buying things that are processed foods from the supermarket. Major crops like corn and soy and sugar beets are being genetically modified and they're processing these foods into other foods and then they get into many processed and packaged foods that you would buy in the store but they're not labeled so you don't know. Luckily here in California they're going to have Prop 37 and I highly encourage everybody to vote yes on 37 if you live in California so that at least GMOs will be labeled. This is not saying GMOs are good or bad but it's giving people the choice to know if there's GMO in there and then the person could choose if they want to consume that food or not. And I would highly encourage you guys not to uh, include GMOs in your diet and that's one of the reasons why I like to grow my own heirloom uh, foods myself so that I'm not eating GMO foods. So if you live in California, vote yes. If you have friends in California, call them. Let them know that they need to vote yes as well. And also visit the website carighttoknow.org to learn more and hopefully maybe even get some ballot initiatives and get some laws passed in other states to get GMOs labeled. So now we're going to check another booth and this is actually the booth for uh, gardening by the moon. So. You know, many people garden by the sun, but you might also want to garden by the moon because that may be the reason why you got brown thumbs because, you know, there's certain times you should plant and certain times you shouldn't plant. There is more moisture in the soil, you know, when the moon's in the right cycle. And this calendar here will basically uh, share with you when exactly to plant according to the moon. We have three different calendars, one's for a long growing season, uh, one's for a medium growing season, and one's for a short growing season, depending on where you live. And besides gardening by the moon, this is also a valuable calendar because they basically have gardening activities by the month. So if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing in the garden, this is a very easy way that will let you know what you should be doing, like what seeds to plant, what vegetables, and whatnot like that. Now, you know, I don't know if gardening by the moon helps. I can tell you, like, with the astrological signs and stuff, you know, and me and dating, I don't know if that really works or not. But this is something to try, and I think it only could be beneficial. But the one thing I want to let you guys know is that don't stress out. Like, oh man, I did get my plants planted when the when the calendar said, don't worry about it, just plant it anyway. It's far better to plant it not on the right date uh, and get something planted than, you know, not plant anything at all. Because I always want you guys to uh, experiment and just see what works. You know, I haven't gardened by the moon because I'm always busy and stuff, but optimally I would like to do that one day. To learn more about the Gardening by the Moon calendar, you want to visit the website gardeningbythemoon.com. And the final word that I like to say is that, you know, I have a friend that says, you know, he doesn't buy the garden by the moon, he gardens by the weekend. Now I have another booth to share with you guys, and this one's really valuable, especially if you guys are watching me online, which I know you guys are, because everybody has a computer that's internet connected. And this is one of the best online apps that's free for gardeners. And check it out, it's right here. It's called smartgardener.com. Really simple, smartgardener.com. And what this allows you to do, it allows you to basically uh, makes gardening easy for the newcomer so if you don't have a plan you don't know what the heck you're doing go to this website it takes you step by step and I can flip through some of the screens here it takes you from you know uh, setting up what you could grow it, it, it finds out your location then it knows your planting dates it knows your frost dates it knows your growing season how long it is then you're gonna go ahead and do the layout so now you're gonna design your raised beds how you want it laid out in a little grid thing you could make it any way you want. Then you're gonna basically go in and select the plants you wanna grow. Maybe you wanna grow some beefsteak tomatoes or some broccoli. It's all in here, people. And then you could actually even buy the seeds from the, the, from the website, they'll send them to you. Or you could buy your own seeds at Walmart or Baker Creek or wherever. And then the next step is you're gonna go ahead and uh, plant out and it's going to tell you exactly when to plant them out what month it's going to send you an email to remind you to plant them so that you don't forget and that you do these on the proper date so you're going to get the best results so you can start easily growing some food at home finally we're going to go through 
And you can see here's the layout. We're gonna grow, you know, a melons and knees raised beds. We're gonna grow the squashes and some sunflowers here. Makes it nice and pretty. You could even print this out and then you can just build and fill your raised beds and get, get it done. You know, this will take all the guesswork out. If you're timid and shy about gardening, you don't want to just jump in like I always encourage you guys to do. This will make it okay and give you approval and a plan to do it to have the highest level of success. Finally, you're never going to forget what to do because it has a to-do list. And this will email you and it will have your email address to remind you what to do. Once you plant it, you check it off that it's been planted. Then it's going to tell you to, you know, when it's right to harvest and what that kind of stuff as well. So this is one complete system, all free. They do have additional add-ons if you want to, you know, do extra features and whatnot. But the base system's all free. Highly encourage you guys, especially if you haven't gardened yet, log on so you can start gardening today. The final thing that's really important and valuable about this system is that people in your area or, you know, similar zip codes, you can find out what they're growing and how they're doing it and how their garden is so that you could get ideas on how you might want to grow as well. So once again, the website is uh, smartgardener.com to simply grow great food. So you guys saw a lot of cool booths here at the Heirloom Expo. People are packing up and going home. But before everybody goes home, I want to share with you guys this one last booth I like a lot. This is actually the uh, Insect Frass booth. And if you guys saw my other video a couple, couple of shows ago, I had another uh, video on this. And I want to show you guys this again because they have some new products that are really valuable. And you guys should just know about this product and you should all be using this, especially if you have some white fly and aphid issues like that. This will totally knock it out. So the first thing they have that's new here is called the Phytol. And uh, the Phytol is a fungicide, milticide, and insecticide. The thing about this is that this is an organic food grade oil with botanicals. So it's really effective, works really well, and it's organic certified. You can spray this stuff on your plants and eat the stuff afterwards and you know it's not going to taste like fish or anything. And it smells good too. A lot of some of these things like this, they smell nasty. But check out what it works on. Right here it works on the uh, two spot mites, spider mites, red citrus mites, thrips, fungus gnats, aphids, mealybugs, white flies, leaf rollers, leaf miner fly, armored scale. Actually that's an issue I'm having right now in my garden soft scale those are those white little things on your leaves and it also works on things like powdery mildew to knock it out downy mildew uh boitris and black spot you're only going to use this if you have an existing condition if you've got white flies or aphids on all your plants right now use this to knock them out and the thing i like about this is this will also take out the eggs a lot of products won't take out the eggs so you could spray today with your other products and then you, you're killing the adults, but the eggs will hatch, and then you're gonna have another problem in you know just a couple days because they have a pretty quick turn for the insects. So this one wipes out everything. Once you got your plants clean, then you wanna go to stage two. Stage two is right here. This is the insect frass. This is stuff I like a lot, and simply frass means poop. And this is basically poop from insects right here. This stuff's organic, check it out. And besides being a 222 fertilizer, the main benefit of this, besides having the beneficial microbes in here as well, the main reason why I like this stuff is because basically it builds the immune system of your plants and makes them literally insect resistant. You know, this has the chitin in it, which your plant will produce the chitinase and the insects won't want to eat your plants. They'll go to your neighbors that didn't use the frass. So you want to get on frass. I recently started using the frass on my plants and I'm noticing some results and they're being more immune to the white flies and the uh, aphids that I'm having in my garden right now. The final product, which is a new product they don't even got the labeling for, once again it's another organic product and I like this company because they get the best of the best stuff right here. This is ocean grown 100% soluble fish hydrolysate. So what does that mean? What's fish hydrolysate? Well basically they take, you know, you guys may know about fish emulsion where they take fish they heat up all the stuff and then they basically get an extraction out of the emulsion. But when they do that, they're using heat. And when you extract things with heat, you lose nutrition. It's like microwaving your food versus eating raw food. And this right here, they use enzymes to break down the fish to make it absorbable for your plants. And this is a water soluble. So you could put this in your hydro systems, in your aquaponic systems, or you know even feed it through your drip lines. This is gonna get right in there and it's high in amino acids. So it's really gonna feed your plants what it needs to really supercharge their growth. So I like this stuff a lot and be forewarned, 
This stuff does smell like fish. So to learn more about the products that I just showed you here, you want to visit the website onfrass.com. I think pretty much everybody's packing up. This is the end of the show. I'm glad I got to show this to you guys before they go. These are very important products, especially the frass. If you don't get any of these products, you want to definitely get the frass. This is like the cutting edge on building your plant's immune systems to make them immune to the bugs instead of spraying all those nasty chemicals that many of you guys may have to resort to. So grow healthy plants, build your soil so you don't have to use all those toxic chemical sprays. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode at the second annual Heirloom Expo. Everybody's packing up. I gotta get my booth packed up and I gotta run. But uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with GrowingYourGreens.com. We'll see you next time. And remember, keep on growing.